Welcome back Healthy Club fans. Are you taking protein shakes every day but not working out? What if I told you that drinking one scoop of protein daily for 30 days might change your digestion, hormones, and even your weight, even if you never step inside a gym? By the end of this video, you'll know. Whether protein without exercise turns into muscle or fat, the surprising effects on your kidneys, liver, and skin, and the truth, is daily protein safe or a waste of money? Stay until the end to hear the number one mistake most people make with protein shakes that causes fat gain instead of health benefits. Could drinking one protein shake every day without ever setting foot in a gym fundamentally alter your body? Many people associate these powdered supplements with intense workouts and muscle building. But what happens when you remove the exercise from the equation? For 30 days, I ran a simple experiment. One scoop of protein powder mixed with water, consumed daily no change to my sedentary routine. The results were more complex than just muscle gain or fat storage. Supplemental protein affected my appetite. It changed my energy levels. It influenced organ health. It even had effects on skin clarity. This is not a magic bullet. It's a science first look. This is educational content, not medical advice. Your individual health status, pre-existing conditions, and current diet matter. Protein is not just a nutrient. It is the very substance of life itself. At its most basic level, protein is a macronutrient, composed of smaller units called amino acids, often described as the body's fundamental building blocks. Every single cell in your body contains protein. It is essential for a vast array of structural and functional roles that go far beyond muscle. Your hair, skin, and nails rely on keratin and adequate amino acids to repair and renew. Many proteins act as enzymes, catalysts that speed up reactions from digesting food to synthesizing DNA. Other proteins function as hormones, like insulin, coordinating signals across your body. Your immune system relies on protein. Antibodies are built from the amino acids you consume. Proteins like hemoglobin transport oxygen, fuel for cellular energy production. Protein helps maintain fluid balance and pH. Very low intake can cause swelling called edema. Even if you never lift weights, Adequate protein is fundamental for health, repair, and daily operation. Even without exercise, daily protein may improve satiety, reducing cravings and overeating. It can support metabolism because protein requires more energy to digest. It helps maintain the muscle mass you already have. Amino acids support hair, skin, and nails. Protein can help stabilize blood sugar and energy levels. If you take more than your body needs, unused protein can be converted into fat storage, especially in a calorie surplus. Digestive issues like gas, bloating, or constipation can occur, depending on protein type and ingredients. Extra load on kidneys is a concern if you are dehydrated or have pre-existing kidney issues. Higher calorie intake can sneak in from flavored protein powders with sugar or oils. Over 30 days, an extra 120 calories per day amounts to 3,600 calories, about a pound of fat. Whey concentrate contains lactose, which can bother those with intolerance. Sugar alcohols like xylitol or erythritol and sweeteners like sucralose may trigger GI upset in sensitive individuals. Proper hydration helps your body process protein efficiently. For healthy kidneys, moderately high protein is generally safe. With chronic kidney disease, consult your physician first. Quality varies widely. Some low-quality powders may contain contaminants like lead, arsenic, cadmium, or BPA. Avoid unnecessary fillers, artificial flavors, and added sugars. Rely on a clean, well-tested product. Your choice of powder critically impacts outcomes. If this is helpful so far, keep watching, because in a moment I'll reveal the number one protein timing trick that increases fat loss and reduces cravings for hours. General guideline, no medical claim. Sedentary adults, 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. Lightly active, 1.0 to 1.2 grams per kilogram. Muscle building or heavy training, 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram. Example, if you weigh 70 kilograms and do not exercise, 0.8 times 70 equals 56 grams per day. One scoop of protein powder is about 20 to 25 grams, so it may fit your needs. Aim to meet your target through foods like chicken, fish, beans, lentils, tofu, and dairy. If you already eat plenty of protein, adding a shake may push you into excess. Conversely, if your diet is low in protein, a shake can bridge the gap to your 56-gram target. Track intake for a few days before starting. Assess your baseline to decide if you truly need the supplement. 
Whey is well-researched. Whey isolate is higher protein and lower lactose, fat, and carbs, fast and easy to digest. Plant options include pea, rice, hemp, and soy. Modern formulations are much smoother than before. Pea protein is rich in BCAAs. Blends can provide a complete amino acid profile. Collagen peptides are not a complete protein, it lacks tryptophan, but can support skin, nails, joints, and connective tissue. Avoid artificial sweeteners like sucralose and acesulfame potassium, hydrogenated oils, and high sugars. Choose short, clean ingredient lists. Better options. Weigh isolate or plant proteins with minimal additives, perhaps naturally sweetened with stevia or monk fruit. Protein does not automatically turn into muscle. Without resistance training, muscle growth stimulus is low. Exercise creates microscopic muscle tears. Protein supplies amino acids to rebuild. Without that signal, your body won't divert a big influx of amino acids to build new muscle. There's no dedicated protein storage like glycogen or body fat. Excess amino acids are deaminated. Nitrogen becomes urea for excretion. Hydrate well. The remaining carbon skeletons become glucose if needed, or are routed elsewhere. Protein can help maintain energy by supplying slow, steady fuel between meals. If energy needs are met and glycogen is full, the liver converts excess into fatty acids and triglycerides for storage. In essence, any calorie, protein, carbs, or fat can be stored as body fat when consumed in excess. Without workouts, shakes mainly help preserve existing muscle. Significant excess contributes to fat stores, not biceps. Best options, morning, to reduce all-day cravings. With meals, for steadier digestion and blood sugar. Before bed, may support overnight muscle repair. Casein is ideal for slow release. Ultimately, consistency matters more than the exact hour. Spread protein across the day. Don't treat the shake like a magic potion. Use it strategically to fill gaps. Avoid high sugar ingredients like ice cream, syrups, or fruit juice. These turn a healthy supplement into a dessert. If taking one at night, keep it simple and low calorie with water. Many people drink protein shakes as a replacement for water, causing dehydration, slower digestion, and kidney stress always drink enough water. So, what happens if you drink protein every day for a month without working out? You might improve your metabolism, reduce cravings, and support your health. But if you overdo it, it may lead to bloating, weight gain, and wasted money. The key, choose a clean powder, be mindful of total calories, stay well hydrated, and use it strategically to fill a nutritional gap. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more science-based health videos. Comment below, do you take protein powder? Which one?